Okay, so we're just going to do a quick video on um, creating a WAV file or an AIFF file to import onto the SPD. Um, here I've just got, a, I'm using Audacity, which is a free uh, audio, edi audio editing software from uh, the internet. Um, a lot of people use this and it's got really good um, reviews. Um, it's not something that I'd normally use, but um, I'm just going to use it for now as it's free. So this is just a kick drum sample. which is uh, what we recorded from one of our re uh, live sessions. Um, if you wanted to get this onto the SPD, you'd need to cut it down to just one sample. So we're just going to lose all of this, press delete. And then you need to trim it down so that the start of the sample is right at, on zero seconds. So as soon as you hit the pad, it will trigger the sample. So delete that, and then it's right there. So then each time you play it, it will um, trigger instantly. Um, then you can go on effects and use like EQ and compression and stuff to make it sound nice, even reverb and, and delay and stuff like that. Um, I'm not going to bother with that for now. I'm just going to use Amplify um, to get it to a nice volume. Um, make sure that this box is not ticked. It needs to be unticked. Um, that means that it won't go above 0 dB and it means that it won't make a horrible distortion sound. Um, so I'm just going to boost it by this amount, which is the maximum amount it can boost without um, clipping. So there you go. And now it's much louder. And that will be um, sufficient for using on the SPD. So next, you just need to go File, Export Audio. Make sure it's saved as type WAV, sign 16-bit PCM. I'm just going to save it to the des desktop now. So just click Save and OK on that. Now I'm just going to open up the desktop, and there's the kick there. I'm just going to copy that onto memory stick, as so, and close that and eject that. Now if you go up to your SPD and plug it into um, the memory slot on the back of the SPD, um, that will uh, it will be recognised. Then you just need to go to Menu, Utility, and Wave Import to get to this screen and then use up and down buttons and the plus and minus to select each sample that you want to input. Press enter and then just select a pad that you want it to be uh, assigned to using the left and right buttons and the plus and minus. This pad can be changed later like we've shown on the other video but to be imported it needs to be assigned to a pad which has nothing else on it already. Um, so then just hit enter and then you're done. So I hope that was helpful and not too complicated. Um, take care and have a good one. Thanks for watching.